Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths. Let's build. Where we're carrying on with our orbital cram attack satellite thing. And, not to spoil anything, I'm loving how this is going. So, um, as you can see here, we're just going to finish off the roof a little bit, because, you know, you you know, even though we're in space, there might be space rain, and you can't, uh, you can't have, leave the roof open. You've got to wind up the sunroof, uh, even when you're in space, because otherwise, uh, you get sun rain in it. That's how it works. I've got a degree written in crayon from NASA. So anyway, just like, I am, uh, this build is fun. It's, uh... In many ways, like, I'm probably, like, I'm getting the distinct feeling just watching this footage right now. Uh, is that, like, in a few months' time, I'm going to think, like, oh my god, what was I thinking? I could do so much better now. But for now, this is a build that is definitely making me happy and is really good. And I was going to say something else, but uh, I'm trying to hold two ideas in my head at once, and that didn't work. So anyway, so, um... A large part of what you are going to see now is me uh, getting this thing into space under its own power. And there's going to be a lot of faffing about with placing more and more ion engines and just uh, more and more balloons and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we do manage it. I'm apparently spoiling the whole video is like, spoiler alert, I win! Kind of. I guess now we're all watching to see how we win. Oh yeah, now I remembered what I was going to say is like... Um, the footage you're viewing right now, uh, how do you use words to explain this? Right, so me right now talking at the moment of recording, I'm looking at footage that is several days old, so I really don't remember the details of what's happening, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you in many ways. Also, you'll be noticing there's an interesting lag in placing a lot of the blocks uh, in this, and... I have no idea what that is, but I was building a gigantic thing, and that I will not spoil, uh, in an earlier recording session just before this. Uh, I was being ferociously productive for once, recording more than one thing. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I think From the Depths was just like, what? You want me to do what now? You want me to do stuff and things? And I was like, yeah, From the Depths, I want you to do stuff and things. So, yeah, now now that we've got a roof on this thing, this whole thing is like a... I'm not sure what this looks like, actually. It looks like a big tube. And we're going to do some exhaust, which we're later going to uh, do different things with. So it's always fun um, to look back on something you did and think like, well, that's definitely not a permanent feature. And, of course, save the thing, just because you never know. A computer could spontaneously combust. A uh, meteorite could strike uh, the person playing. Uh, I hope not to get struck by a meteorite at any point during my life. It sounds painful. And this is where we... Like, like... Okay, so this is where it starts. This is where it all starts. And we faff around with ion engines for a long time. Because here's the thing about From the Depths and getting things flying when we do orbit. If you do the math... Uh, you will hopefully know exactly how much thrust you need uh, to get a thing uh, to where it's supposed to be. I never do the math, so I never know. So this is uh, one particular bad or lazy habit of mine that I urge you not to emulate. From the depths, like pretty much every video game actually, once you find the math and figure out the math, it's a lot easier. You know what works and what doesn't. I, however, am a former art student, and thus I am not good at math. That is actually a major generalization. There are people who do arty humanity stuff, but are nonetheless good at maths. Like, you know, like... what's a, well, Here's an example. Like, economic historians, for instance. There are people who basically... They're accountants, but in a historical sense. They go back and look through tax receipts from like hundreds of years ago and go, Aha! This is what we can figure out from this. And they, they, they have to math. Like, it's kind of non-negotiable, really. And, um... What tangent have I gone on? So, here you'll see there's a lot of balloons. Lots of balloons. And, uh, already there's gonna be... Uh, well, okay, there we, we, we didn't finish the damn roof now, did we? 
Well, I guess we didn't mind you, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean! There were blocks that were supposed to be there and they weren't. This whole thing is actually, um... There's a weird kind of, like, contrast in... Uh, I guess it's not just how I build, but uh, it's just how people build things on the devs. It's kind of all or nothing. Either the thing is huge and heavily armored, or it's tiny and basically has no armor at all, because the things in the middle don't really do that well, I find. Like, there's, um... They just kind of... They just kind of, uh... They just kind of have the worst of both worlds, so to speak. And there's a bit of balloon ACBs. Is this enough? Is this enough? Probably not. Probably not. Yep, definitely not enough. Yep, fall straight back in, because who would have thought that a giant box of cram uh, would actually require a significant amount of power uh, to launch into space, so... I assure you all this faffing around is worth it because my goodness when this thing does get in the air it is fantastic it is majestic it is other words that end in I see uh, panic at the disco I mean you would certainly freaking panic if um, if you saw something like this in the sky like yeah I would panic I'd say like is that a giant space gun pointing straight at me and the answer is, yes, that is a giant space gun pointing straight at you. Time to panic at your disco. I... why am I referencing a... I don't even know if they're a band or a music group, rather, but, uh... Like... Why, like, I barely know any of their music. This has taken a weird turn. My excuse for this is that I'm perpetually tired and... And uh, it's a rainy day outside, and rainy days make me sleepy. Actually, there's your answer to the question. I am now at the point where if it's sunny outside, it's warm, and that makes me sleepy. But if it's cloudy, like if it's raining, uh, that means it's dark, and that makes me sleepy. So, I don't know. I think I, I, think I need to change into a crepuscular animal. Uh, so that, like, I'm most productive at dawn and dusk. Actually, I am more productive at dawn and dusk. Oh my word. I'm already crepuscular. That is one of my favorite words, by the way. Crepuscular. Crepuscular. As opposed to diurnal or nocturnal. Actually, diurnal is the weird word uh, in, that, uh, in that triple threat of descriptions. And for an example of crepuscular animals, like, a lot of predators are crepuscular. Because, like, dawn and dusk is like, okay, it's dark so the prey doesn't see you coming. But, uh, also there's enough light to see what the heck you're doing. So you only need a little bit better night vision than whatever it is you're trying to hunt down and murder. So, yeah. Crepuscular. Anyway, so, like, uh, the ongoing quest for lots of ion engines is going here. And I would like to point out that this is quite lazy, what I'm doing. I do this. And... It's not the best thing to do in From the Depths, is just doing things because, like, eh, I can't be stuffed. But, uh, but yeah, like, when you do something that's saying, like, oh, bugger it, man, like, I, I can't be bothered, like, just, just do, just, just do, just do this. And, um, as you can see here, this thing is actually starting to get somewhere. It, unfortunately, doesn't get very far. I just spoiled the video again. How do I keep managing to spoil the video uh, while I'm uh, while I'm recording it and while it's being shown? That is impressive. It's impressively silly. So anyway, so I guess that ring now has a function. It's just lots of lots of ion thrusters, I guess. And uh, yeah, lots of very silly balloons. Balloons in front of the depths. It would be nice if there's some kind of option to change the textures that are on balloon because they kind of they look literally like poop. And I guess the same thing's true for sails. The people have asked me more than once to do like a sailboat a tutorial, and there's two reasons why I haven't done that. Firstly, and more importantly, I've never done it, so I don't know how. And secondly, uh, sails look like ass in From the Death. They just look they look bad. Like, there's not much point making a sexy sail yacht or something, and then like, you know, you put sails on it, and it's like, oh my goodness, this looks this looks like this looks like ass, like ass. I say. I'm not sure why I like saying ass like that. It's just ass, arse. 
But anyway, that's, uh, that is my feeble excuse, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, as we ascend, uh, I remember that, you know, turning and thrusting uh, thrusters are a good idea. And so we have managed to get to the not very tall height of 267 meters, and so we're going to need more. We're going to need a lot more, and somehow I thought that changing the heights on the ACBs would uh, do something. Uh, actually, no, that was to make sure that it could get somewhere. So now we need more engine power, but thankfully the... Uh, what on earth did I pull these again? I've forgotten the name of my own prefab engine. Anyway, this kind of prefab engine is great because if you need more of them, you can stack them on top of each other. Pretty sweet, actually. And, uh... Yep, also, like, you'll immediately notice that I forget that there's an exhaust line in there that isn't, uh... Uh, that isn't being taken care of, but then I take care of it, so it's all good. Nobody panic. Nobody panic at the disco. Nobody panic at the disco. That's my job. I have not been to a disco, I think, ever. I've been to a nightclub. That sucked. I hate nightclubs. I'm willing to bet that uh, the, most of the people watching this, giving that uh, their idea of a good time, is either playing one of the most fiendishly complicated video games ever invented, or watching someone uh, play one of the most fiendishly complicated video games ever invented. I'm willing to bet a lot of you fine people aren't fans of nightclubs either. It's a generalization, I know. But yeah, just like, it seems, it, it seems to be like that, I guess. So anyway, oh, more balloons, good idea. So anyway, uh, the last time I went to a nightclub, I went and I got my wallet stolen because I was young and stupid and I left me coat. Uh, just flopped in the corner because I thought like you know, we're in a re reasonably crime crime free country who would who would do anything and it's dark and like who would go after that and someone did and they lifted me wallet out of me coat and I was very sad and No more nightclub. I know that if you take proper care that the kind of thing doesn't actually happen or it's harder to happen, but It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Also, I think, like, another thing that happened is that I went with a whole bunch of uh, people from the student uh, residence that I was living in at the time, and they ditched me. They didn't say anything to me, they just left me there. Like, with one other person who was a bit of an idiot, now I think about it. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, nightclubs, not worth it. I mean, it's worth it if you genuinely enjoy it, but if you're like me and you don't, don't. And the reason I say that is because... I know a lot of young people watch this, and so by young people I mean anyone younger than me, which is basically anyone in their 20s or in their teens or even younger than that. Although if you're below the age of 13, what the heck are you doing on YouTube? Like, I won't rat you out, but what are you doing on here? <laughs> don't, your, don't your folks know what you're up to? Anyway, so um, basically don't get peer pressured into doing stuff you don't want to do, and that definitely includes going uh, out. Uh, to places which are dark and seedy and have alcohol and drugs and stuff like that. Just don't. If you don't want to, don't. And if your friends don't like it and they can't accept you for who you actually is, then you don't have friends, girl or boy or indeterminate. Oh look, my satellite is uh, sending altitude very rapidly with pretty blue colors. That's a nice save, borderwise. Don't talk too much about uh, social issues, I guess. And look at that, we're in space. We are now in space, and it only took... I... Well, well, for us watching this video right now, it took about uh, 14 minutes. Uh, for me recording uh, at the time, it took around half an hour. Which isn't that bad, I guess, to get a great big lump uh, into space. And here's the bit where I remember, in fact, that, you know what, if you're gonna put something in space, uh, you don't actually want to go too high, yo, because that's bad. And uh, also, pitch control. Pitch control is good. Pitch control is very good. And, well, push down and uh, the other thing. Well, well, yeah, yeah, pitch down, pitch up. It is very nice. Like, can we just appreciate for a moment just how easy it is to customize uh, your uh, propulsion so it does uh, more than one job 
So I'm lazy and I often get it to just do one job, but in cases like this, you can get it to do like uh, pitch and roll and propulsion. And we're just hanging out uh, 2000 meters up in the air. And I actually thought that maybe this would be too high and we wouldn't get to uh, do things. And this is where we just do a test shot on Marauder because uh, you got it. That's, that's compulsory. It's from the dips tradition, I say. Kaboom. I uh, hope you could hear the beautiful sound of that cram firing because, uh, because, uh, like, uh, it's, it's, it's beautiful. So, uh, did a mod review the other day, and if you haven't watched it, please go do that because it's great and it's short. You can, you probably, it's like, it's so short you probably don't have time to finish your sandwich before you actually do it. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, cram SS, SFX, uh, well, better cram SS. Better cram sound effects. Third time uh, charm when it comes to pronouncing things. So uh, yeah, so uh, the, the, the I did a poll on that, and overwhelmingly people said yeah, leave it, leave it on. And uh, good news is is that the author of the mod uh, commented on that video, uh, saying that they had n had no expectation that it would blow up so much, but. Um, they're working on a version that uh, is even better, so it's great. That mod's gonna get updated at some point, so everybody look forward to that. Everybody look forward to that with your brains and faces and your From the Depths gaming abilities. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. So, okay, so detection, detection, detection. As you could expect, this uh, attack satellite has um, uh, basically all the detection pointing straight down, because that's how we do things, and... I just, watching this, I thought, you know what would be a really good idea is putting lasers on this. Actually, no, I think I've mentioned that before in one of the previous episodes of this Let's Build, saying, like, you know what would be a good idea? Lasers. I'm on a like, bit of a laser bender right now, like, ooh, I get to shout another video. I did a video the other day, like, um, showing off uh, self-contained laser turrets, which are, I don't know, people were saying, like, yeah, they're not that bad, but I think, like, yeah. Like, in the purely mathematical meta sense, they're pretty bad because, like, you know, just leave the laser system off the turret and you can get much better results. And, um, yeah, so... Yeah, so anyway, I love making those things and I'm just making them out of habit. And I'm actually uh, making progress on making a turret version of that that can actually uh, do something substantial against the singularity. So, look forward to another Singularity Most Wanted. We're talking about giant lasers. And they really do have to be giant, because um, a uh, laser that does high damage but doesn't have enough AP doesn't really do anything against the Singularity, because it's got ridiculously good armor and a lot of smoke on it. It's smoking's good for your health, the Singularity knows this. And, um, yeah, just uh, lasers with high AP but low damage, they basically don't do anything because they don't do enough damage. Hurdy-gurdy, who would have thought that? So, yeah. It does occur to me that I'm gonna need to find some way of... Uh, some way of... Okay, so this right here is what I like to do for bombers, actually, is just get them in a constant broadside, like, over the target, because that way they circle over it. They're just constantly turning above it, which makes them a lot harder uh, a lot harder to hit. So I don't hold out much hope that this thing will be able to dodge shots from the Megalodon or something. So uh, if we spawn this in on top of it, it'll be A-OK, -okay, because I don't think the Meg's guns uh, can elevate straight up. I don't think so. No, they can't, because uh, they've got super cavitation shells and the thing can shoot at submarines. So that's super handy. Uh, so yeah, now we're testing uh, properly to... There we go, kablui, kablui, kablui. We also I do mess around with the. Oh yeah, that's lovely. So I do mess around with the actual cram itself. I end up do. Uh, I end up using a timed fuse in the end, so because it's like, well, I hate it when this thing misses. And also one thing I should probably do uh, next time I record this is replace uh, a number of those um, uh, pellets. Uh, with hardener pellets, because I tend to find that uh, it'll probably do a lot better if it actually penetrates the target a little bit before exploding. Like, uh, oh, that cram sound is beautiful. This cram sound is beautiful, I hope you can hear it well. So, 
Yeah, so there's, there's stuff to do. This thing is not finished. Um, like, not by a long shot. But it's definitely doing what I want it to. It flies above a target and blows the hell out of it. Also, I should probably add some uh, satellites or something, just, uh, just because. Also, ah yeah, so here is the uh, classic case of... Uh, thing doesn't go fast enough, so make it go faster. And one of the beautiful things in space is because drag is so much less that even something that's like this, that's a... It's a wheel. I just realized this is a wagon wheel. This is the Darius Rucker of attack satellites. So now we've spawned in... Yeah, it's a crossbow. The rest of this video is just me test... test uh, combat testing this thing. E even though it's, it has no active defenses at all. Because I'm just like... I just like to watch this thing work. Kablooey, there it goes. And one of the great things about firing straight down with crams is that um, uh, I think they do actually go faster. And right there is why time fuses on Doomfrag is so, is so nice, because even when they miss, they don't. And you can put a hole straight through something, and that's going to be very painful. Yep, there we go. Uh, half, Almost half a million kinetic damage right there, and we decapitated one of the turrets. And uh, the crossbones is completely helpless. It actually can't hit us at all. This whole thing is reminding me just how broken attacks and lights are. And here, well, okay. That wasn't it, but uh, it was close. So yeah, in this particular case, um, Kram's firing down from a great altitude is kind of great because um, uh, one of the main problems... Okay, right there is why I... I'm thinking that a little bit of penetration would be good because it means it can sink through superstructure and get right in the juicy bits. And what's going to happen there? That's nice. That's nice. Might also need to adjust the um, uh, the detection settings on this a little bit, uh, just so. Yeah, this is the beautiful moment. It's just you get to see right there. Um, just you know, you can't see it because it's too far away, and then you see the flash. And it's like, it's like reverse thunder, it's just like, you see the flash, uh, you, well, you see the flash, you hear the rumble, you know trouble's coming. So, name suggestions are already like, well, there, there goes the crossbones. Name suggestions are already welcome for this thing, because this is like, um, I don't know, like, I don't usually go in for naming things like, um, I know, like, I have a whole creature aesthetic with, uh, with naming things, so... Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is, I really wanted to see how well this does against something that's really hard to hit with crams. And the Kobold is kind of hard to hit with crams simply because it bounces up and down a lot. So in this case, um, it does, yeah, so we're missing a lot. We're missing quite a lot. And da -da -da, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is that muzzle flash? Where's that muzzle flash to make me happy? Where is that muzzle flash to make me happy? Just checking where the thing is. Yep, and just checking the speed, the uh, this attack highlight does actually fly faster than the Kobold, which is very nice, which is very, very nice indeed. We, and this, I think, is one of the most beautiful cram shots I've ever seen in my life, uh, because it just, it rips the tail clean off the Kobold and actually takes out, um, well, some substantial stuff. It just takes off uh, half the tail, bust, busts an ammo compartment, and it's just, yeah, down she goes, straight into the drink. And, uh, yeah, taking out a kobold with one shot is, uh, mwah, it's beautiful. It's very good. I just realized it got really dark in here. What happened? Oh, clowns, that's what happened. And, um, yeah, so now I'm going to stick the timed fuse back on, because uh, that's handy dandy. So, yeah. This whole thing is just a, a cram cannon and everything else that makes it fly. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful to me. Actually, I might have gone a little bit... You know what I want to do now? I want to make a whole, like, series of attack satellites, which are just pancakes. Just flat pancakes, just jammed with stuff. Wee, and this is where they go. we get to see stuff. Yep. So that just scratched the paint a little bit, but uh, I do like how the Kobold looks now, and I like how it's got like aesthetic props on it and stuff like that. Looks really cool. I love it. 
I love it a lot. And now, unfortunately, though, uh, our satellite needs to go, uh, needs to go actually do something. So I might have to put extra thrusters on this just to make sure that it can get uh, to where it's going. Right. Right, 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 Yeah, yeah, I was like, basically, this whole, this, this, this last bit is just testing against the cobalt, and this is what happens if, um, uh, I have fun while recording. I just forget, I just lose track of time, and I forget that there's bad people watching this, and we just glide off, and, like, one of the great things about this is that you can see that the cobalt isn't firing at us, because we're completely out of its firing envelope, and we just hit it straight in the face, and just really hurt its feelings, and that's fantastic. Hurting cobalt feelings. Also, like, speeding up this, uh, oh yeah, that's beautiful shot, beautiful shot, beautiful shot. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, need it, want it, have it, do have it, yes. We... Yeah, so, uh, as it turns out, uh, from above, the cobalt has a bit of a glass jaw. Who would have thought that a front sider is, uh... A bit of a pushover from any angle except the front. And this, by the way, is a hard counter to many frontsiders. Not all, but many. Um, it's just uh, you get at them from the top or from the bottom. Oh, it's beautiful. Just gutted it from above. Oh, yes. Yes, it's so nice. It's so nice. I have not tested this thing against the Megalodon yet, and I probably should do that. Because that would be very good. So yeah, right there is um, our attack satellite, and she's big, she's beautiful, and she goes kablooey, and she blows things up, and that is fantastic. So, on that jolly note, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon, or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time. In from the depths, let's build. Farewell.